Hey guys, welcome back to the ranch. Today, we're working on my 2018 Chevy Silverado one ton. Um, I've been getting this P24B0 uh, error code for a couple weeks now. Um, it is an emissions code. Um, one of the stupid um, modern emission systems crap. It is a faulty um, exhaust particular sensor. I got a new one right here. Part number 12685369. Put a link down in the description to Amazon where I got it from. Um, so yeah, basically the sensor cannot detect how much um, exhaust particles are coming out of the exhaust, um, thus not knowing if your DEF system and crap like that is functioning correctly. So yes, we are trying to be all nice and green here. Uh, anyway, it uh, costs 150 ish dollars a new sensor. And it is the last sensor on your exhaust pipe and you're going toward the tailpipe. So I got my ju truck jacked up in the back just so you can see it better. And you can see it is that uh, one right there. It is the last one that you're going to find. And we're going to go ahead and change that and see how that one works here. And afterwards, we should be able to just clear the code and everything should be fine again. I did run a regen first. I had cleared the code, ran a regen. But after like 60% um, soot level again, the code popped again. So I just went ahead and ordered a new one. And we're going to go ahead and look at how to change this out. So let's get started. Let's quickly quickly look at the new sensor here out of the box. Just so when you're going to be tracing it back, um, you'll see that this is going to be mounted on top. Um, the plug that you're actually removing is not this one that is closest to the sensor. It's going to be actually the one on the opposite side of this box here. Goes toward the front because um, this whole box comes off with it. So don't try to be disconnecting it from here because that is not going to work. You're going to have to disconnect it from the other side. So just so you know, that's what it looks like. Now let's go grab the tools. Let's go under the truck. All right. You're going to need a 24 millimeter wrench, which I don't have. So I got right here the comments because I'm using an adjustable wrench. I should just go buy one, but I currently don't have one, so I'm using this. If you don't like it, send me one. All right, so you could also probably just cut it off, and if you've got a deep socket, use that, but I'm not going to do that. So I would like to keep it. All right, I got that loosened. I didn't think you needed to see me struggle. I ended up, it did work with the adjustable wrench for anybody who's wondering, but I did need some extra leverage. I got me some pipe, put that on, makes a nice little loud bang, and it, and it loosens it. And now let's see if we can do it by hand, probably not. going because it's not as supposed to twist independently from the sensor at least the new one does so this one's kind of kind of stuck here already because you'll see the new one the nut moves independently from this sensor thing here 
Anyway, just let that hang down here for a second. Then, bear with me. Gotta move you guys around. Then, you see it is routed here, so you're gonna have one clip here. It's gonna go over this uh, brace here. You're gonna have another clip right there. Turn my light. Then it's gonna go over. It's gonna be a third clip right over here. And then here is gonna be your box that is bolted on with a bolt here and another bolt right up there. And as I said before, this wire up here, um, that doesn't come off. It's the bottom one here. There's actually already a red little clip part that I already have pulled out. You can see that little guy right there. And we're gonna get this pulled out and get these uh, clips open. Get that wire moved out and loosen up these uh, two bolts here. Put the two new bolts in and rewire the whole thing. So let me get this part out and I'll show you once I got it out and then we'll take a look at uh, installing the new one. All right, we got it off. I have a feeling this might have not been the first time this thing has been replaced on my truck just because this whole connector here, um, the whole clip kind of broke off and I don't know, the connector looks kind of, kind of worn on my truck, but nevertheless, um, now we're just doing the whole thing in reverse, taking the new one, putting it on, screwing it on and doing everything in reverse. And I'll show you that when it's back on. Not a lot of space when you're lying on the floor here. All right, folks. I know it's not the greatest video of how to do it. Okay, well, you can see the new sensor is in, tightened down. It is routed back into uh, the clip over here, over, hang on. Oh. over that brace to the clip there through that clip again there and this thing is just bolted back on with those two 10 millimeter bolts one on the bottom one right up there on the top uh, this connector is clicked back on and over here this is the old one the old box with the old sensor. Let's see if we can see anything when we're looking at it. I mean, I get it to focus. Don't really see anything. I guess probably more on the inside, but I hope that's gonna clear that code. I am now going to go ahead and clear the code from the truck. And I'm just going to start driving it again. And See, make sure that stupid code doesn't come up again. You can see there's not a lot of space down here between the massive drive shaft over here, the exhaust pipe, and um, as I said, I got, I'm jacked up. And yes, I am on jack stands on both sides for those people that are scared. And the floor jack is just supporting. Um, but it gives you a little bit more room to reach that when the axle goes fully down. Um, otherwise you don't really need to jack it. If you're a smaller person, you can uh, reach it without jacking up the truck at all. Um, yeah, and that's how you change that um, basically so, uh, sensor. And once again, the part is gonna be down in the description where to get it on Amazon. Here again is the part number for it. AC Del uh, Genuine GM. I don't know if it's AC Delco or whatever, but it's a GM part I made in the US. And that's how to change that sensor on a 2018 GMC or Chevy uh, heavy duty pickup. Should go from 
probably 2015 and a half upwards whenever they or 2017 whenever they did the l5ps uh for sure and i hope this video was helpful for you guys if you liked it please give it a thumbs up we do all kind of stuff like this on the channel and i'll talk to you guys in my next video thanks bye